How new technologies are powering the gig economy. You heard them. Let's see them. Rich DeMiro here with that in today's Tech Smart. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you guys. Uh, gig economy. We've talked. I mean, I remember, I think it was like eight years ago, we talked about Postmates mm -hmm. coming on the scene. And now, of course, we have so many things. Apps gave rise to the gig economy. And now, of course, it's moving forward with robots and autonomous <coughs> delivery vehicles. Recently, I visited Curbivore 2023 in downtown Los Angeles, an event that puts the future of the gig economy on display. Innovation in the gig economy is on display at an event called Curbivore. If you've ever walked a curb, sat on a curb, dined at a curb, seen a little delivery robot on a curb, uh, this is the conference for you if you care about any of that. Apps that connect people with services, places, and things, and in the process, create opportunity. That type of freedom and flexibility, being able to take a day off, take a week off, you don't, you don't get that with a lot of W-2s. Pedro Santiago chronicles his gig economy journey on YouTube. I think it's still a really good way to make money if you're willing to adapt and change, because these apps are changing every day, something new. There's plenty of tech trying to solve last mile delivery. Everything from tiny robots to autonomous vehicles, and scooters like Exodo. This vehicle is a self-stabilizing electric scooter. Gives you 100 miles range at 45 miles an hour. Um, this basically allows you to take some of those five mile trips with something other than a five passenger car. Automato is an EV vending machine on wheels, inspired by the automats of the 1950s. Everything is electric, solar powered with energy storage. Liquid death from the Automato. No death involved, just hydration. Yes. Uber making a bigger push into grocery delivery. There's people that only do groceries and they, they really prefer that side. So they don't, they're not a people person, they don't want people in their car. And if you've ever gotten a cupcake delivered, thank Candace Nelson of Sprinkles fame. I look at the food business through the lens of innovation always. Speaking of innovation, how about pizza making robots in the back of a truck? Now that's Stellar Pizza. Our 30 SpaceX engineers have uh, done a very, very uh, amazing job designing all the super reliable robotics. Now it's time for us to start selling and, and really seeing if people want to eat our pizza. I mean, let's be honest, who doesn't want to eat pizza? Right? <laughs> all right, if you want more information on any of the companies I saw at Curbivore, you can go to my website. It is richontech.tv. There it is. Uh, Chris, happy birthday. Thank you, bro. Appreciate Very exciting. You, I should have brought you a, a pie, as we call it. I called it a pie the other day. My kid goes, it's a pizza, Oh, not you're talking a pie. about pizza? Yeah. yeah Back we east, don't... we call yeah, it a pie. Yeah, exactly. And my kid thought I was He's lying. He's a Jersey guy. Yeah. You just went into your Jersey mode, too. <laughs> you totally did. It's a pie. It's a pie. It's a pie. And he, he literally was challenging me. He had to look it up on Google. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. These kids it is are, a pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, these yeah. kids. Well, he's, a, yeah. he's a California kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jersey <laughs> kid. So it's, uh, yeah, pizza throw, pie. Throw this one at him. I love, one of my favorite New York. What's it to you? <laughs> What's, it to, you What's it to you, kid? What I call the pizza. We'll see you on Off the Clock. <laughs> off the Clock. Oh, today. that's right. That'll be great. Uh,